you're wondering welcome back you guys i have a grocery haul for one week i up my budget because the kids are on spring break and you know how that is they're gonna have snacks they're gonna have lunch snacks and snacks you know because that's how it is when kids are at home all day they eat all day so i upped it up a little bit more and i ended up going to i think it was four stores so i went to sprouts because there's two things i get there it is seafood i don't know why but i feel like if the seafood is more fresh there and i guess that's just me and then i went to trader joe's the 99 only and to food for less so like i said i went a little higher than usual because you know i gotta have enough food for the kids while they're here at home so let me go ahead and show you guys what i ended up getting for this week i'm gonna start with sprouts it's just two things so I got this wild salmon filet, which I'm gonna make today, $12.35. It's just one big piece. Salmon is so expensive, especially when they're wild caught. And then I got some wild caught shrimp, which was $12.36. That's, one, that's why I don't buy a lot of seafood because it is pretty pricey. So those are the only two things I got at Sprouts. So it came out to like $25 about just for these two items. And then at Trader Joe's, I got these organic banana chips. And I thought that was a pretty good deal. It's only $1.99 for these. I've been having such a sweet tooth. I'm trying, you know, to eat a little healthier. I was on vacation and I was eating really bad there. So when I get a sweet tooth, I'm going to try to eat this you know, and fruit. And then I got some walnuts. And this is a pretty big bag. It's one pound for $4.99 at the regular markets that I go to. It's a lot more for a one pound bag. So I thought that was pretty good. And then I also got this pink, I don't even know how to say this, hyacinth plant. I thought this was cute. It has like roots down here. And I just got some sourdough bread slices. My daughter Jessica has been asking for sourdough, so I got that. So at Trader Joe's, I spent about $17. So at Food for Less, I got this whipped topping. This Sunday or Saturday, I'm probably going to make some kind of cake. So we'll see. It's going to be like a strawberry white cake. I haven't made that in a while, so I'm going to make that. I got this 12-pack of toilet paper. I have to get the ones like Scott or like the off-brand of Scott because we have a septic tank here. So I can't use like the soft ones like Charmin because it will actually plug it up. The chicken was on sale for 77 cents a pound. So I got these um, chicken thighs for 3.12, which is a good deal. Food for this always has some good deals with their chicken. And I got these pork chops. I haven't made pork chops in a while and that's a lot. I feel like 7.12, but like I said, I haven't had pork chops in a while. And I think this is more like a lean cut. So I wanted that. I got a slice of cooked ham for $3.59. It has the bone in there. And I'm going to use some of the ham for some pinto beans, like to, you know, flavor up the pinto beans. I got some mild Italian sausage. I got this cheese because I'm going to make some snacks for the kids with some Ritz crackers. Black Forest ham, I love Black Forest ham some Swiss cheese, 2% milk, I got some buttermilk, I got two of these broccoli and cauliflowers, these were a dollar each, this was also a dollar, this is the mixed veggies, I got two vanilla yolk I love to have this with granola and fruit on top, and I got some frozen strawberries, I already have some frozen blueberries in the refrigerator, because while the kids are home, they like to have shakes, so I'm going to make them some like smoothies and shakes. I got some Ritz crackers. I got four Mexican mangoes. I got a red onion and one bell pepper. So that's all I got at Food for Less and that was $54. Now what I got at the 99 cent store, that was like the most things I got was from there. So I got this Spick and Span Citrus. They have the lavender. I like the lavender also. I got this for my carpets. I have very little bit of carpet, but I wanted to try this out. I got one of these magic erasers. Two of these little air fresheners, the two gain softeners, like fabric softeners. And I also got two of these. I've been getting these. These are scented, so that's why I like them. The only thing, they do get stained, so I have to buy. I bought two more for my sink. Also got some washcloths. It comes with six of them for $2. I like the color. I like the gray because my kid's bathroom is more of like a grayish kind of theme. 
some Pillsbury traditional vanilla with the cake that I want to make this weekend. I got the bananas there. I also got yellow corn tortillas and I got the whole wheat tortillas because I didn't have any of the regular flour. Oh yeah, and I forgot about this. I got this at Trader Joe's. I was trying to find the chickpea pasta, but they didn't have it. So I just ended up getting the brown rice pasta. So hopefully that tastes good and my family likes that. 10 pound bag of potatoes for $1.99. My daughter Evelyn loves these fudge striped shortbreads. So I got these for them. I got some sour cream there. And I picked up three of these 100% whole wheat breads. You know, because they're going to be here for a while. So I can make sandwiches and peanut butter and, you know, grilled cheese, all that stuff. And then I, this was $1.99 for, I think it's four of them. That's not bad. Four avocados for $1.99. It's actually pretty good. These were three for a dollar tomato sauce and I got some jalapenos. They had this yellow corn organic tortilla chips. So I thought I'll give these a try there for $1. And then this vanilla granola. I like to have this in the yogurt. Some more butter lettuce, some fresh jalapenos. A big bag of green onions. I got some mint to put in my water with some lemon and cucumbers. They have the pineapples for $1.99. And I'm gonna try that pool apart thing that I've been seeing all over the internet. The 99 had organic strawberries for $1. So that was pretty good. I noticed that the 99 starting to have a lot more organic stuff, which is pretty cool. And then I got some of these sweet mini peppers. My daughter and I love to eat these by itself just as a snack. They're very crunchy and really sweet. I seen they had the Cara Cara oranges. I love these oranges. They're like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's in between a mandarin, an orange, and a grapefruit, but it, it's not sour like a grapefruit. It's very sweet and mild, and I just tried it for the first time yesterday, and when I seen that they had a whole bag for $1.99, I had to pick that up from there. I got these Jumbo Romaine hearts. They usually come with three, but now they're starting to come with two. This time I went, so that's still not bad for a dollar because romaine lettuce is usually like a dollar or more just for one. So I got two for a dollar. Baby kale mix, which has chard, baby kale, and spinach. Lettuce, Parmesan cheese, shredded Parmesan cheese, lemons. These were also $1.99. I got some blueberries blackberries and i got these super sweet tomato melodies they have different colors i like these they also had organic apples for 1.99 mushrooms baby carrots and i got a lot of these roma tomatoes for 1.99 so that's a good deal also and there is three of these cilantro bunches for one dollar at the 99 i spent 56 dollars so all together everything came out to 152 dollars i know you can hear my kids in the background they're playing so it came out to 152 dollars for everything i don't think that was bad to be honest that was with some toiletries and you know groceries until next friday for the kids so they should have a lot of things to snack on I will be checking to see what rebates I'm going to get back like on Ibotta. If you guys don't know what that is, I will link that down in the description. And that's my grocery haul for one week while the kids are on spring break. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.